Today we have a super fun high-end dupe from Pottery Barn that is for my bathroom remodel and we are sure that you're gonna love it. I'm gonna scroll online and see if I can find any tables um, for inspiration for my bathroom. I'm looking for a side table that I can use on the side of my bathtub to hold like maybe a candle and my soap and just book, different things like that. That will, because I don't really have a place to set it on my tub. I found one that I really love. It's called the Claire's Round Metal Accent Table and it's from Pottery Barn and it's kind of this aged brass finish. It will look really beautiful in the bathroom and match some of the other brass and gold accents that I'm adding in there. Okay, I love this table, but it's $629 just for a small accent table. And I know that we can do better by making it ourselves, so let's head to the thrift store and see what we can find. Okay, first of all, I think I'm gonna cut the cord. I'm not gonna need that. And then I'm going to just try to undo it. It looks like it comes apart in sections. I wonder if we can find something that just screws right onto that. Okay, I want the finished table to be 20 and a half inches tall, which would be about right there. So maybe, oh, there's maybe, a section right there. Yeah, maybe, maybe just use the bottom section and you'll be good. Okay. Show me your muscles. <laughs> so now I think what we'll do is head to the store and see if we can find something that will actually screw on here that will hold our tray. See? Do you see the vision? I see the vision. See, there's like a flange. Yeah. That this is bigger than three quarters yeah. of an inch, so it's more like an inch. One inch. <laughs> Although I put it the other way, if it'll fit the other yeah. way. I put it this way. Let's screw on that way. Okay, happy face. It's going to work. <laughs> okay. We're going to begin by just giving this a good cleaning. It is filthy. The tray is filthy. It's all just dirty. And I'm just using some warm water and some Dawn. It does a good job of cutting through grime and grease and all kinds of good stuff. All right, we found this flange at the hardware store and we took a piece of pipe with us there and it fits on this lamp perfectly. So we can just screw that on afterwards. So my plan is to attach it to the bottom of the tray with some glue and some screws. I realize that it's going to be pretty shallow. So I know that there's not going to be a lot of gripping power with the screws. So first of all, I'm just going to kind of measure and center this on here. So I'm just going to place that on here and mark it. And then I'm going to try, I hope this works, E6000 glue. It uh, 
generally will bond pretty much anything. So we're gonna give it a shot. So it's got metal to wood. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some of, sprinkle, <laughs> spread. I don't feel very good today, so I'm sorry if I say weird things. We're, we're both experiencing reno brain too. <laughs> we, we're very I'm tired. so tired, I can hardly function today. All right, so I'm gonna center that on my little pencil mark. Okay, and I think I'm gonna go grab the drill and pre-drill some little holes to get this started. So I've got four little screws that should just go in about halfway into this tray. That's it for today. We're gonna to let the glue cure for 24 hours. Okay, now we're going to give this a coat of flat black paint. Okay, I've been playing around a little bit with rub and buff. I've got antique gold here. And right here, I just use my finger to rub it on. And I did paint it black because I do want some of that black to show through. So the method is going to be this method. And what I'm going to do is just take, let's just get a little bitty bit closer. Okay, so you can see the difference. All right, so I found that usually I'll put this out on a plate, but I'm just gonna pick up a little bit right from the tube of rub and buff, and then I'm just going to dab it on. And this is an old um, fabric paintbrush, so it's got really stiff bristles, and that's what I want in order to get that little bit of texture going on here so that it looks kind of like the hammered brass that is from the inspiration table. And do you think I'm gonna be able to do the whole table with this little bit of leftover? You know, this a little bit of rub and buff goes a long way. It's such a good investment. Yeah, we've had that forever and we've done so many projects. So many projects and it just keeps going. I've got a spare too, just in case though. So we'll see how far it goes. there's nothing quite like changing your mind a little bit. So over here, I decided to add a second layer <laughs> and I'm loving it. So on top of the antique gold, I added a layer of European gold. And just so you know that I was able to use that teeny bit that was in this tube to do the entire table. There was plenty and there's still some left. Okay, so the, for this layer, we're going to use European gold. And this time around, I'm going to apply it with a sea sponge. And I did dampen it and then I wrung it out really good. I then put a towel over it and squoze, and I wanted it to just be slightly damp so that the sponge will have some movement because these are really stiff when they're dry. And then I'm going to actually this time place some dots of the European gold rub and buff on a plate. And then I'm going to just pick up some of the rub and buff. And then I'm going to apply it kind of in a pouncing motion first. And that's just going to randomly place some of that color on there. And then I'm going to kind of twist it, blend it a little bit. All right, can you see the difference already between here and here? Just softening that coppery gold color just a little bit. And I think it's going to be absolutely perfect in my room. To finish it off, we took a lint-free cloth and buffed the surface to give it a nice little sheen. And then we also sprayed it with a clear top coat just to give it a little bit of added protection.
Okay, that's it for another high-end dupe. Did you guys like how easy it was? And you can't beat the cost savings from $6.29 to $28. Be sure to come back and see this table styled in my bathroom makeover, which will be live on May 30th. And it will be linked down below after that. And if you enjoyed this video, we think you'll like this one next. Empowering you to create a home you love. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.